yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Moving, 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 yeah. Hi, everyone. Ottawa guy here. It's been a while since I've done some uh, Lego Mindstorm EB3 videos, so I figured I'd do a little bit of a video series here and introduce you guys to the, um, you know, some maybe some little tricks and tips on the sensors and motors. Um... We're going to be taking a look at some lessons. I'm just going to quickly introduce you to those. The, I, I will try and post these videos over the next couple of days so it doesn't take too long so we can kind of get in and do a little bit of fooling around. But basically for this uh, video series, I'm going to be introducing some of the sensors and motors. We're going to do a little kind of a quick little robot build uh, with, with, the, uh, with the tracks in order to get us kind of the capability of adding some of these sensors onto it and just kind of seeing how you can play with, play with them programmatically and I'll teach you guys how each of the sensors uh, works and what, what what their boundaries are and what what, what their main purposes are uh, I mean I mean the motors aren't really sensors but we'll for the for the purpose of this presentation we're gonna call it the sensors and motors so as you guys know by now you have two large motors in the kit um, this is the Lego Mindstorm EV3 kit uh, the home edition um, again, you have the two large motors, and you'll have one medium motor in the package. Uh, the kit actually comes with a color sensor, um, which can recognize seven different colors. Uh, it, it can actually recognize more colors. You can programmatically change that, but we're not going to get into that uh, low level of detail yet, uh, in this series video series. There's the infrared sensor. It can detect objects. Uh, the proximity, it doesn't really detect distance it detects more of a proximity uh, the ultraviolet or sorry the ultrasonic sensor which is not on here right now uh, can actually determine distance but I'm not going to get into that one because I don't have one uh, the remote control slash beacon uh, has two modes one is remote control mode where I will show you how you can control your uh, robot from uh, within the line of sight of this remote and then there's also a beacon mode where it sends out a continuous signal that then lets the infrared sensor uh, detect that and then track it so that's something we'll show too there's two modes for the beacon there's this touch sensor it's got three conditions a tap or uh, bumped it's called released is when when the button is released it, it will do something or when it's touched when it's pressed uh, and again we talked about the media motor so I'm going to go quickly into the lessons that I'm going to try and put together. First of all, it's this is the lesson that's the introduction to the sensors and motors, which is kind of just a brief description of what each sensor is and uh, what the motors do. Uh, we're going to build a robot. This robot is going to be available in the in the uh, Lego Mindstorm EV3 uh, base software program. Uh, I believe it's going to be, we're going to base it on the tracker because the tracker gives us a good base uh, of the tracks. Um, kind of like a tank tracks that we can then uh, build upon to create a robot that will house some of our uh, some of our sensors. The addition is the okay. So the infrared sensor that's one of the most important ones. The infrared sensor allows your robot to avoid obstacles by detecting its proximity to uh, certain objects, and the infra infrared sensor also allows us to go to. Uh, beacon mode which means that it will try and find a beacon and in addition the infrared sensor will also allow us to uh, move to a uh, remote control mode but uh, we'll cover the remote control in a, in a further lesson the touch sensor just going to show you a couple things about the touch sensor and what happens when you bump it touch it press it and release it stuff like that just to show you how you can control that the color sensor is fairly interesting it'll respond to color Primarily, I believe that there's also a light intensity and an ambient intensity uh, settings that you can make it do things when it gets dark, uh, stuff like that. So we'll, we'll touch on that. Um, remote control. Again, remote control will be using the beacon uh, to actually, I don't like to call it the beacon. I like to call it the infrared. And the infrared will be in remote mode, which means that it will be sending out signals in an infrared manner to the infrared sensor which will then direct the robot to do certain things uh we'll just touch briefly on large motors what the large motors can do which can and can't do with large motors you know you can break you can slide to a coast you can turn them rotationally degrees 
or by time and, and stuff like that. So we'll talk a little bit about that. And lesson eight, uh, media motor. We'll just talk about the media motor and what it does and what its main purpose is. And then the last two are sound, uh, is the sound sensor and the gyro sensor. So the sound sensor is actually an NXT, which is the previous version of EV3. Uh, that's a sensor from NXT, uh, sorry, the NXT model. However, it is compatible with the EV3, and I've got one, so I will be showing you a little bit of what the sound sensor can do. It's interesting because it will allow you to uh, control your robot by, uh, you know, giving it some sounds. Although it doesn't do voice recognition as far as uh, phrases that you send it, it will actually respond to your voice and your decibel level. So that that's kind of an interesting thing. And then the final sensor that I'm going to touch on is going to be the gyro sensor. And this will require a special build, uh, or maybe not. Maybe I'll just show you how to use the gyro sensor to have the robot go in straight lines or straighter lines. And um, may I may or may not show you the uh, balancing buddy, which is a really cool build for the gyro sensor. So I don't want to go into too, too much detail, but just to recap, we're going to go over the more available sensors. I'm going to focus on the ones that come in the kit. I won't uh, bore you guys with the uh, too much with the sensors that come out of the box that you have to buy yourself online. Um, again, we're going to go through the introduction to the sensors and motors. We're going to build a robot. Uh, I'll get right into that uh, lesson. Hopefully today we'll get that out. The infrared sensor, touch, color, those are the, the primary ones that come in the kit. Then we'll do a little bit of remote control with the, uh, with, with the infrared beacon. And then uh, talk about the large media motors and the NXT sound sensor. And the uh, bonus will be this gyro sensor. So I hope you guys uh, pay attention and uh, log back in and watch for updated videos. But like I said, it's Christmas break uh, 2018. And I'm going to try to put together some videos so that we can walk through how these sensors and motors operate uh, in, a, in a simple little build. Okay, thank you. And we will talk to you soon.